a study on milk and infertility where we said that there was a fall off in fertility related to galactose in women. So we wanted to test, well, what about the men? So we wanted to know what the effect of this diet would be on sperm, for example. And here's the one that will show you uh, the picture the best. Progressive motility. So we took the sperm of male vervet monkeys that had been fed uh, grain legume diets. That's a typical African diet. And look at the sperm motility compared to those that got milk. Boom. Almost a third. That meant that the sperm of these monkeys were swimming when they were on grain legume and they were swimming when they got milk solids. When we look at the sperm concentration, this is the one that gives you the best picture again. High concentrations on grain legume, low concentrations on milk solids. So just the diet totally changed the whole sperm parameter. Now you can imagine why European couples, one in four, seek fertility treatment. The women are affected by the galactose, the men are affected by the casein. Just changes the protein parameters and makes for uh, immaturity of the sperm. We delivered this at uh, conferences all over the world and uh, sperm mid-piece defects when they were on dairy they also had more abnormal development. Typical defects would be this little bump there or kinks in the tail. So bottom line, guys, if you want to be fertile, kick the milk habit. Your sperm will go, it'll be plentiful, and not like these, go around in circles not knowing where to go. <laughs> Lymphocyte levels, this is very interesting. Maize legume diet, milk diet. Notice that the immune system was far more capable. This is not 